listening to Scotty McClure's megaphone in. Now we're dashing off to the East Midlands and uh, we're talking to Emma in Loughborough. Are you there, Emma, love? Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 I'm talking about the teenage pregnancy. The teenage pregnancy. All right, love. Well, I'm a teenage mum myself. <sighs> How did you manage that? I was taking all the precautions and everything, but I'm older than what you think I am. But you weren't I taking the saying, ultimate precaution, love, were you? I wasn't saying no. You weren't <laughs> saying no. You weren't keeping your hand in your hip, me. I know. <laughs> You see? I'd just like to say to all the other ones out there that's, you know, doing it without anything, mate, it's very hard. It's very hard to do it without anything, or it's very hard... It's very hard to look after a baby. To look after a baby, love. Yeah. What problems have you encountered? You get people on the street looking down at you, you have no money whatsoever. You're living on the government, you have to give, give up college and... Have you had a tough time of it? So far. Some bits are good, but... Yeah. And have you had a lots of people sort of do a kind of, well, I told you so, it's your own fault, you've made your bed. Yes, my parents. <laughs> oh, really? Are they are they giving you all that? They did, but they've seemed to have come round. Tell me this. I'm not going to pry into your private life, right? Mm -hmm. But what made you decide to take things a little further than you perhaps should have done? Well, I was in a serious relationship. It was, it was going out clubbing. And what what age were you? I was 17. You were 17 at the time? Yeah. And you were in a serious... How can you be in a serious relationship at 17? I'd be going out for nearly a year. But is that a serious relationship? See, to me, a serious relationship is like a band of gold in the finger, a, a, a two-bedroomed house. No. You know, no. Sh sharing his money with you. Well, he wasn't sharing his money. I was sharing mine. You were sharing yours. Mm. So you were doing it. And uh, why are the two of you not together now if it was a serious relationship? Because... He started to beat you up. No. He was one of them ones. Well, why did you go with a violent man? Because he wasn't violent then. It was when... Well, that's what they all say. Well, why did he... Why did he beat you up? I don't know. I think he got... You know, he bored him in. He wanted to end it, but didn't know how to. Because he was too young. Yeah. What age was he? Same age. Same age, 17. Mm-hmm. It's too young, isn't it? Because, I mean, that means you've not got the future in life. You're not in control of your own life then, are you? No, you've got someone else to look after. And you were in a serious relationship, but why did you take a chance? I don't know. <laughs> it's just, you know, one of them things. It's I don't not, know why 12-year-olds do it, though. It's not one of them things, though, love, really, is it? I mean, it's that, uh, you know, you weren't careful and he wasn't careful. No. Well, it was the pill and a condom, so it was both of them that failed. I don't believe that. Why not? I don't think you're telling me the whole story. I think it's a lovely, convenient excuse that the pill and the condoms failed. Hey, okay. you know, it's a lovely excuse, isn't it? That they're no, both it's not an excuse. Two of the two of the highest success contraceptives with the highest success rate, the pill and the condom, and they both happen to fail at the same time. Well, they I was ill. I had sickness and diarrhea, which apparently... So you'd lost your pill? Yeah. So that was the pill out. Now, what about the condom? It was, uh, it split. Mm. That's a bit unlucky, isn't it? It was very unlucky. So what would your advice be to any teenagers thinking and doing the one-two buckle on my shoe, particularly in South Yorkshire? Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. No way. How could yeah, you, how could you not do it? What? How can you not your just <laughs> keep your pants on? Yeah. All right, darling. Well, listen, I wish you all the best. Thank you. I'm uh, you. you know, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's all happened now. You've got to get on with it. And, you know, you've, you've paid the like price. Saying, I love him very much. I know. I'm sure you do love him. <laughs> but you paid the price, haven't you? I have. And everyone else will if they carry on. All right, love. You take okay. care. Hey, dinky do. Dinky do. Dinky do. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye. Right. There we are. A young lady telling it like it is. Now, uh, who else have we got here?